Um, I'm going to put you live on the air now. So please hold. Yeah, no problem. Go ahead. Yes. Welcome, Mr. Dixon. Uh, ACP Dixon. Is it ACP or ASP? ASP. You want to take care of that? Yes. Go ahead, Mr. Yes. Yes, 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 Mr. Dixon. Thank you for taking our call. Mr. Dixon, um, the Prime Minister made a, a statement on Saturday that he wanted to introduce um, vetting units into the TTPS. And after that statement, I, I've been hearing that your association have some concerns. Can you express to the nation those concerns, sir? Right. Um, it is simply put, based on the statements made by the Prime Minister on Saturday night, mm. if the intention is to introduce new vetting units in the organization, we, we believe that that statement in itself, when it aligns itself with integrity and broad brushes, most officers as to the fact that not, not the fact that there is an assumption that integrity is lacking in the organization and the commission and the prime minister is prepared to pay more for integrity and for vetted units we are saying that we cannot accept that as a statement by the is, prime is, minister ACP, ACP, um, it, are it, you it, saying that the are you saying that the ttps did not bring this assumption up upon their own self and they're going to take responsibility for have for the for the population at large and the prime minister asserting that the t there are issues of integrity in the TTPS? That is an excellent question. And here, here my response to that question, right? TTPS is not a political organization. Mm -hmm. TTPS is the only organization in the country who investigates its own. TTPS mm -hmm. have been engaged in vetting since 2010 to present. TTPS has a professional standards bureau which engage in vetting and arrest and bring officers before the court. TTPS have our SIU units which assist Interpol and other entities in terms of vetting mm -hmm. persons, both for visas and everything. TTPS has anti-corruption investigation which investigates state authorities in terms of the, the, the issues that would come before us in terms of criminal, criminal fallout. Mm -hmm. The reality is, let us take everything into two contexts. Is it the police officers who are going around picking up guns and killing people in Trinidad and right now? Let us look at it from a, let, let's be real. Let mm. us be real. At this juncture here, you, myself, my members of my family, my colleagues and their members of the family also pay attention to discourage of crime to the extent that everybody is crippled by the fear of crime. What is the most important topic on the nation and the people's tongue right now? It is crime and the fear of crime. Is it the police officers who take up guns and kill people? Well, then what are, ACP, what are you suggesting then? Seeing that, seeing that you are obviously against a vetting unit, and I am saying, as far as I'm concerned, this is a unit within the TTPS, which, which are made up of police officers who you say are already there. They, they form themselves into a unit and they, are, and they are holding police officers to account. What are you suggesting that we do then? Because we have a huge problem in the TTPS. Right. What so are you suggesting? So the huge problem you speak of mm -hmm. is, is a symptoms of the huge problem we have in society. That is the first thing first. Let me accept that. So we're not vetting. So, so then, so then we have a vetting issue. Uh, you, we, you are not listening. Mm -hmm. You are not listening. You ask a question. I, I, I would want the opportunity to respond. Good. Go ahead. Right. So, <laughs> so, 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 so TTPS being a symptoms or, or a subset of the wider economy or the wider society. Whatever you've seen happening here, it also happened in every other institution. But we are the only one investigating ours and we're going to be before the court. Additionally, when you look at the data, I said on public airways, over 270 persons have been arrested from within the organization between 2019 to present. That is kept, that is real life data. Mm -hmm. But to date, we are in the month of July, we have over 300 plus murders. How many of those were committed by the officers that the integrity um, had some mission? was brought into, 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 into question. We are part of the criminal justice system, the gatekeepers of the criminal justice system. The magistrates, the judges, they are paying money to ensure their integrity stay intact. How much does the TPS officers get? The four percent everybody else gets. We are judged higher than everyone else. And even with the judges are higher, higher than everyone else, we are expected to operate as if we are invincible and 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 and, and tells a higher standard as opposed to everyone else. We are not paid so so if the issue is correlating funds or money with integrity, I am saying no money could buy my integrity. I have 29 years service and there are thousands like me who rely on integrity. So it cannot be that is the issue. Let us look at the cause and the effect. Let us not so target the police. You know that TTPS have been operating on 
not a full complement of its executive staff since December 2021. You know that we are the only entity under the government sector, the banner, which has laws and regulations to govern that have to go to the rigor and the, the, the premiership of what they expect in terms of the parliament to scrutinize that an appointment of someone to act in the post of commissioner or deputy commissioner of police. You know that our leave has been restricted since 2019 and as we know we're getting some semblance of relief. You know that all these things are happening. We have lost 39 officers in the fight against the invisible enemy. All these things are happening and yet still the officers in integrity are being brought into question now, in the question. There was an award at the end of the COVID where doctors and nurses benefited from no problem. But who lost the most? Who had the least resources to fight? People need to understand these things. And we are not taking anything out of the Prime Minister's statement because we are perfect again. We want the opportunity to realign some of our allocated resources to be able to deliver better results to the members of the public. It is not where we have 10 millions of dollars on a manpower audit in 2018, 2017, 2018. We have 